Hi everyone, it's Karen here for Artist Live, and we're here with a, I'm here with a new project. I'm going to be making today a mixed media project. It's a butterfly art tile, and we're re I'm really excited this month because what we're doing is we've collaborated with our mixed media moods, which is um, a, a Facebook and an inspirational U um, group that does YouTube videos. And every month there is a mood board. This group is. In a collaboration of Didi Catron and Jennifer Engel. I hope I'm saying their names correctly. I mean, I'm pronouncing the last names correctly. Didi, I know how to say it. And they invited all the artists' lives this month to create videos based on their February mood board. And you can find uh, the link below. I mean, somebody will link it on our live. Uh, live show but also I will put the link below in our YouTube video so you can direct yourself you can go directly to these and see all the other videos and inspiration all the we have all video tutorials from like six different artists and they're all based on the same mood board and they're so beautiful and they're all completely different so you're gonna get a lot of inspiration and a lot of new tech um, new ideas and tech and loads and loads of technique so I already made a project with one of the videos, but this is in, in a video tutorial with it that it's also butterfly based and you can go and I'll link that one as well. And the rest of the, um, and the rest of us are going to be, some of us are going to be making an extra project in, based on that mood board as well. And that is mine today. So I'm going to uh, turn the camera around so you can see the project that I made today. And I'm sorry, I'm a bit tongue tally today. I'm a bit tired. Um, because we had a very busy weekend, non artsy related. So that's why um, I'm getting like confused with what I'm saying. So here is the here is the project that I'm making today. Let me turn this around. And oops, sorry. Okay, so there it is. That is the project. Hold on, I need to focus. Um, when I, I just want to make sure that my camera doesn't move when I'm it's still moving. Okay, so that is the project and that's the empty tile. This is a, a canvas board, a regular canvas board, uh, six by six. That's all it is. It's really easy. It's just um, just nothing. I mean, this is the this is the local company here in Canada, but it, you can Yasmin will be putting the links for the other ones and for the video itself. The links are gonna be below. Uh, so if you're not watching this live, this will the links will be below as well. So just to get let you a closer look on how textured this tile is and all the techniques that go along with it. So let's get started. I'm gonna put actually these two aside because what I'm actually the first thing that I did is I created this butterfly and I actually printed um, I printed uh, this from the internet. It's just a regular butterfly, okay? And I put a, a how do you call this? A see-through, so not transparency, it's just one of the packaging, plastic packaging. And I'm going to trace around it with a glue gun, okay? And I'm kind of creating my own butterfly around. So the reason why I'm putting the plastic is because it helps uh, later so you could remove it. Originally, I was going to keep it on this and put um, like and cut it around it, but I realized that I could actually remove it, which was really good. So it was it was just it became a different idea. So it, it doesn't have to be, of course, because it's mixed media. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just going to go around it. And uh, this is, takes a little bit longer, but you know how the nice thing about glue guns is that they dry quickly. So that's the nice part about it. I'm trying to this time, I'm doing it a little bit thicker than I did in my last project because I realized that the areas where I had done it really thin, I mean thick, I meant to say, the the, the project was nicer than where, I mean, the, when I added the other products, it became much nicer when it was thick than when it was really thin. So I am going to um, add it as thick as I can. I now remember the name of this. It's a piece of acetate, It's a, but it's from a packaging um, from one of the packages. Sorry, I need more glue. So I just prepared everything here so I have. Um, and 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 also like 
Yasmin just uh, she just um, linked my YouTube video for that for the our mixed media mood, and I'm going to link all the other videos at the bottom for those people that watch this after the show. But she can link all the other videos as well here for everybody to see. So Yasmin video Jasmine has a video. Heather has a video. Didi has a video. Rika has a video and Jennifer of course um, because they are the hosts of the mixed media moves. You can also find uh, uh, make our mixed media moves on Facebook so um, and you can play to win prizes so if you are in, I think sorry don't quote me on that to whether or not to win prizes somebody correct me on that one but you can definitely get inspired by the mood board on Facebook and post your um, post your project so um, I'm guessing it is for prices, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Okay, so don't maybe Yasmin can verify that, and I'll and once she verifies, I will let you guys know. Um, but what's nice about it is that you can play along, and everybody, you know, it's a Facebook group, and you can see a lot of um, video inspiration. And every month, it's a different mood board. And uh, it's basically a Facebook group, just like, like I mean, mine is a page. Like ours is a page here. What we do for Artist Live, but um, but it but it's a, it's a similar idea, and we thought a collaboration would be a great idea for this. So while I'm working on this, I'm just talking a little bit about it, and I will definitely link. Um, I will definitely link the projects uh, the to the description in the description area below. You will see the the um, the links to all those other YouTube videos. Um, also, want to apologize for my messy mat. It's really dirty, and I've actually bought a new one, but it hasn't arrived yet. So for now, I apologize for the messiness. Is it blurry? I can't. Okay, you see how I'm going around it? it? It's hard to tell, but I am. This is the same one I used for the original one. Now I'm going inside and I'm just kind of creating a pattern inside the butterfly. The only, the only sucky thing is that you can't fast forward this, this part of the video, you know, like how we do it when we are doing our own videos and editing them. So you don't have to show, see this in slow motion. The reason why I wanted to kind of have this pattern inside and kind of sealed is because I really wanted to, oops, I don't know why I did that. Okay, it will be a little bit different. I meant to go around here. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do that is because I wanted to have different sections where I could include, um, I used alcohol links inside here. So um, that was a way of containing the, the, the inks and being able to put different, um, different uh, colors in different sections of the butterfly. So I'm making my own pattern here because I made a mistake and that's okay. Hold on. And, um, and mistakes are okay too, you know. Doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be the exact same butterfly. Butterflies come in different patterns as well, so that's okay. And, um, and it's hard to keep glue guns straight and they have these hairs coming out, but it doesn't matter, it still works. Oh, 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 that was still wet. Got stuck to the... Okay, so I'm making the pattern. Let me see if... Um... Okay, so there you go, and I, I'm, I'm sorry I'm not saying hi to everyone. I see Julie's here, Luciana. Hi, Julie, Luciana, Ka Kaita, uh, Katya, I think, oh, Ka Kaita, it says there. Um, I apologize. I can't. I'm not. Look, I'm concentrating, so I won't burn myself. So, because you know how glue guns are f finicky and burning. So I'm not looking as who has logged on. But thank you for coming, everybody. Um, we love when you come to our live shows, because um, it really makes a um, it makes a difference when you're watching live and interacting with all our friends from around the world. You meet new people, which is really nice. So if you haven't come to one of our live shows, if you're watching this after, um, just we really encourage people to come because it is really fun. I've met a lot of my friends just by doing these type of, uh, attending these type of live shows. Um, 
it used to be that Prima used to have one. They don't have one anymore. So we're one of like the only ones that look at all these hairs. Um, we're one of the only ones who have these live shows. Uh, Flying Unicorns, unfortunately, doesn't have it anymore. So we really try to bring you as much as we can of these really like interesting and technique based mixed media live. It's not always mixed media, but um, just in general. So you see here it is the butterfly. I went all around it and I'm just letting it like completely cool off. In the meantime, I am going to like put this aside and I'm going to bring the tile back. Okay, so here is the tile and I'm going to um, create the background. So this is, uh, this is a technique that I've done before, but last time I did this technique to create those really cool grooves, I used, um, I use like the color bloom sprays. This time I'm gonna use the, um, oh, I forget, alcohol inks. So this is the soft matte gel from Prima, Finabear, Art Basics. And I'm gonna grab my spatula and just want to see, hold on one second. Okay, so this is my spatula and oh, my palette knife. Okay, so let's see now. So this is basically dry, look how quickly dry. And all I'm doing is just removing it. So a lot of people have, there's videos out there where you, where people create basically stencils with this. Maybe one, some areas a little bit wet. Not wet, but not fully dry. Uh, okay, there we go. So this is my cool butterfly. How cool is that? It's plastic. Plastic? Okay, plastic. Well, I'm now speaking Spanish too on top of everything else. Um, and I'm going to glue this here. So, so that's how I created the butterfly in the center. Nothing too fancy, and this one is a little bit different. And all I did is I basically used um, some gel, and I just glued it on. I really wanted to, to really for it to really be glued properly in the background. So I just put a thin layer of that. Oh. If you see with my gel, you always find some extra pieces of something in them, like a little surprise that I always get. Okay, so there we go. I really like making art tiles. They're small. Um, I call them art tiles. I don't know what you would call these. Um, I've done these before, different kinds of art tiles. Like I just like there's a small space and you can like show a lot of technique with this as well. So now I'm gonna take the gel, the same gel, and I'm going to put it Make sure that everyone's okay because it's all white. Okay, I um, wanted to make sure. So what the, the way I'm making these grooves and I'm literally patting this. Now, I've had questions before. Why don't I use modeling paste? Why don't I use gesso, for example? And truthfully, you can. The reason why I use gel is because I want that translucent kind of effect. Uh, I do not want the background to be white. I don't want, for example, with gesso, the the actual like gesso is white, so it will if it mixes with the other colors, it will turn um, make the colors be more, I mean, be lighter. So I really want because I apply stuff when things are still wet, right? Because that's a technique to apply things when um, things are wet. Um, I really prefer the gel because it dries translucent and it doesn't take away from the color. Modeling paste, I think, is just too hard uh, for what I'm looking to do, right? Because I really want these grooves. And you could do this with modeling paste, but again, the modeling paste is a bit more opaque. It won't dry translucent. Um, one of the things I discovered, I recently did uh, a video on how to make crackle texture. and. Uh, one of the things I've shown before in one of the other artist life things, and maybe I'll link that as well. Uh, I did a butterfly one where I decreated this texture and then I sprayed color bloom or still what while it was still wet, and it created crackles. Well, somebody asked on that video how uh, if we could like for example uh, do the same thing, but with uh, with. Um, sorry, the question was, so if we could do the same thing, 
but with uh, something not color, not a color bloom spray. Okay, so any other type, like any other type of spray, or not, for that matter, if we could uh, first dry it, and then will it create like will it create the cracks as well? So I did an experiment and I realized that the reason why it cracks, if you actually dry this, because this person wanted to, to take the modeling, and sorry, avoid to buy crackle paste. So I thought, mm, I'm not sure if you actually dry this first and then spray, it will not, it, it will not create the cracks that you saw in that video, which I'm linking above. So what we did, I did is I actually realized that what's causing the cracks in the gel is actually spraying water. So if you, if I go now and I take a water bottle and I spray this around, it will actually um, create those cracks and then you can spray on top. So the water goes in between the gel and creates those, those, um, those cracks in between. And today we're not using water, but I will maybe upload a small technique on how to do it with the water because I'm going way off tangent of what I'm actually did in this case. So here is the, here is the, the actual like texture that I did and it still creates a very cool texture. Okay. So as you can see, okay. So again, what I said is that uh, you really want to uh, create that, um, that those bumps here and you want to make sure that it's going to be translucent so this is the reason why i used the gel so okay now that i went way off tangent i want to show you what i did after this so i took i have a little bowl here with all my alcohol inks that i used okay so here i used uh caramel and i use mushroom i mean it could be anything to tell you the truth this is lake mist um, I use this one as uh, indigo, so I, I'm not even sure if I used all stream and aqua, and then I had the metallics as well. Okay, so I started playing with these. I wanted to see if it, could, it would actually work if I did the same technique with the water, but it, it didn't fully crack like the way they did with the color bloom. So I think the trick is water, which is not a technique I'm doing right now, but I think I'm gonna do another video on a separate occasion just to show that this cracking can happen with the water as well. So, so as you can see, I added first like the different color bloom spray, I mean, not color bloom, the different alcohol inks. So the outside has the, the earthy tones and the inside has the blue. So I'm gonna just start basically, sorry, heart. I'm going to start adding these. So I basically just went and just start and then yes they will go underneath a little bit and mix and well, that's just what I want so it doesn't fully contain it obviously because the gel is underneath but look how beautiful those colors well, it looks like it is it I just want to make sure it's not oh there now it's focused more let me get you a little bit down more so you can see how nice so I'm trying not to like do all the colors everywhere okay um so let me just continue on i love this color this one is so beautiful look how beautiful it spreads underneath so oops it doesn't matter if they mix with each other that's the nice part about it and i do want i love when uh, how alcohol how alcohol inks mix with each other they, it mix really nicely so Hold on, I'm just playing around with these. Okay. Yeah, it will probably go inside the other ones. Um, and then, oh wait, one more. I want to add this blue. Oh yeah, I did add blue already here. So let's try and a little bit more. And some of this, I wanna cover the whole thing. Okay, so that's the butterfly here so itself. And um, what I did, okay, so I bought this at the dollar store. This is alcohol, oops, this is French. 70% rubbing alcohol. And and it by spraying it, it actually makes everything mix really nicely together. So, so they do have also the alcohol blending ink from 
Tim Holtz, which will work as well. But I like this because it's in a spray bottle, so it works really well. And I'm going to now add the silver. Let me just mix that. Um, so let me just mix. So the silver adds really nice tone to this. It, it blends everything in it. They're called mixatives. And I really like how they um, mix together. And yeah, um, Yasmin is putting all the alcohol ink links there above. Um, and I will also, obviously all the materials are gonna be linked in our YouTube channel as well. So that's kind of just letting it dry. I'm gonna now add the outside ones. So my favorite one, which is the caramel. I love this type of color. It's very like rustic. How beautiful is that? So I'm just playing, you know. Um, I'm gonna add the mushrooms. I love playing with alcohol inks. It's really fun. And as you can see, you can see like everything is still see-through. And I am gonna use the new waxes from Finabare to actually um, rub it on top to at the end. But first we're just kind of um, mixing everything and just creating the background. Um, so just, if you have any questions, sorry, I don't, I'm not, I'm looking, trying to pay attention. Um, oh, hi, Ximena, Jimena, Jimena. She lives actually near me. We just met online. Sorry, I didn't see you come in there. So hold on. So, I mean, the thing with, they do last a long time, the alcohol links, which is really nice, but I do use a lot when I, when I, when I actually use them. I love how they spread everywhere. So when I put the alcohol inks, I try, I, I try to like do the same thing and dry it right away, but it didn't quite work the way I wanted it, not with like with the water, okay? The alcohol doesn't seep into the gel the way it does with the, with the water, like the way it does with the water. Uh, let me just add some more here. So you see I sprayed it a little bit on to just kind of mix everything. So what I like about that alcohol spray is that it mixes it all, um, dilutes it. Uh, so it looks really good. Let me just add now more inside. I feel like it needs a little bit darker, a darker shade here inside. Oops, that's um, my phone and I'm just gonna turn it off. Didn't realize that I had it on. Okay, so um, what else? Okay, so here it is. Uh, I want to add, I also added some gold uh, to the, um, hi, Arena. Uh, I also am adding some gold. And, hold on, let me mix, let me, uh, this is the another mixative. So they come in two, they come in gold, uh, the gold and silver. So, um, Oh, so Joanne says that she hasn't used her alcohol. She bought them. So there you go, Joanne. I've actually used alcohol links in both this project and the project that I created for the R Mix Media Moods because the way the mood board looked, um, it's hard to see. Well, I'll link the, you'll see the mood board as well when I link this. But the nice thing, it has a butterfly, but it also has this blended kind of inks that reminded me so much of what happens when alcohol inks get alcohol ink get mixed together, especially on Yapo paper. So, or Yupo paper. Sorry, I still don't know how to pronounce that word. So, my other project is actually using alcohol inks on Yupo paper, which is really cool. And um, I love doing that. So, oh, I'll show you, for example. So, I just want here, I have actually some, this is actually alcohol inks. Look how this, it's see-through. It's used on this same piece of acetate. Let me put some white underneath it so you can actually see. Um, so this is how cool you can get, really get this really cool effect. Okay, so that's uh, the same alcohol inks. These are done, um, this was done on acetate. And, oh, I'll show you. Okay, hold on. And I'll show you the alcohol links that I use. I don't know if you guys watched that other video, but I've been playing with, with them. So this is the same idea. And this, I cut a butterfly out of it. This is a, not the same one, but you see how you get these really neat 
um, effect with the alcohol and this is Yapo paper okay so it's really cool and I mean I wish I could I, maybe I'll try to link this video as well the one with the Yapo paper I mean that is there's a there's so many different techniques that can be done in general right so we need to just pace ourselves a little bit so I'm just continuing to play here uh, I like I like playing with these so um, I like the silver. Where did it go? There. Is this the silver? No. Oh, there's the silver. That's what I was going to do. I was going to add a little bit more silver and a little bit more blue. Oops, more blue here. Now, one thing about alcoholing, they stain everything. This is one of the reasons why now I had to switch my whole uh, mat. Somehow it stained everything. So the new mat, I'm going to be very careful when I use these because I tend to always do everything on my mat and not uh, care whether or not there is any ink on top. But even rubbing, even with using alcohol to remove it, I couldn't, so it was really hard. Okay, so I'm going to close everything because I'm basically done with the back one and I know it still looks white underneath. And that's because, um, that's because I have still haven't rubbed the actual uh, how do you call this the other wax on top now the thing with this is that when I started drying this because I want to dry this right because this is part of the the video okay when I started drying this it started melting the actual um, silicone from the from the from the glue gun so that did not work so well, but I mean, it just, it still hardens after again. So I'll show you what I did. So I'm quick, I'm gonna like kind of go around. I just wanna make sure that the, it dries quickly. Um, all right, so Elaine, yeah. So Elaine um, already watched the video with the butterfly from the Art Mix Media Mood. And she actually really loved how, um, she actually created an amazing background with the same technique. I use the sparks, which are these. While I'm drying, I'm showing you stuff. So these sparks are so sparkly, and, but you can use any metallic paint in that matter. So look how sparkly this You see like it's really, really sparkly. So I use these um, to create as splatters on the background. Um, do I have the, the actual project here? I don't even know if I have the project. Come on, let me just go with this. must be here somewhere. What do I do with it? I'm trying to think what I did with the project. Where did I put it? Because I was going to hang it. Oh, my, maybe it's outside. can't remember. The nice thing about alcohol inks is that they dry quickly, the same as alcohol. Uh, the only thing that doesn't dry quickly is the actual um gel not as quickly as you would like it to dry so you do have need a little bit of patience i'm just closing my alcohol inks so they don't dry up uh, or evaporate for that matter uh, so just bear with me here okay. any questions in the meantime Yes, so exactly. So, so while I'm drying, I can give you, you're right. So Joanne is saying that she uses alcohol inks to tint metal things that um, that are not the color that she wants. For example, if she wants a blue brad, but she doesn't have the right tone, so she'll use an alcohol ink. Alcohol inks are great, great for metals. They give it not only like a, if you use these type of colors, they give it a rustic look, but they also go really well on metal. They, um, so it's a very good alternative when you're trying to change the color of a metal. Uh, same with the waxes now. The waxes, the new waxes uh, are really, really good. And I'm going to be using this butterfly from the Mechanicals from Finnabare. And um, I'm going to be using the waxes for this. So I'll show you um, how we alter this. So right now, you, right now, if I get really close, it kind of bubbles a little bit, which is nice. Um, I want to add a little bit, there's some areas here that are too bare, so I want to add some, and you can continue adding and mixing, which is, that's what's really nice about, about, um, the alcohol ink. Uh, let's see, I think I need some of this, so while I'm drying, I tend to go back and see where I'm missing stuff, and 
fill it up and I need a little bit of spray to kind of spread it around so I wanted I wanted it a little bit darker and if it's too much obviously before it's dry you can dab it so that's nice as well and um, so yeah so it's really good ideas like everybody has their own techniques for alcohol inks and there's lots of techniques out there this is nothing new um, that I'm doing I just I just like trying the alcohol inks like I don't I don't have time to see a lot of videos online so like sometimes I've said oh I've, I've done this technique I've tried it out and people comment that it's not a new technique and I don't I know it's probably not a new technique but for me it is new because I've never done it before and I don't really it's not like I'm copying another person's technique it's just that I really have never seen it before and um, and I just try it and see what happens okay so this is the metal and because I have been heating this up look how cool because I've been heating this up it actually heated up the silicone underneath so you have to be careful and it's soft so all I'm doing is I'm basically attaching it here and it's basically glued onto that silicone. So when it dries, it's the same as basically as if I used a glue gun, okay? It's like moving. So hold on. I want the butterfly. So that was my the center of my butterfly. And I feel like I need a little bit more of the silver. So uh, hold on. And I like these drops. So these are really nice. These silver ones are really nice. Okay, so oh, you see when I look at it in the mirror, I think it kind of went. It kind of looks differently. The blue kind of blended. Um, so let me just show this to you from closer because everything is hot. So. There you see the texture really, really good. And I know you still see the see-through parts of it, okay? But I just really love how the translucent texture, and it will dry completely translucent. So you will only see the alcohol links and you will not see anything else. So things are still a little bit wet, so I'm still touching them. This is the only annoying part about live shows but at least on this way I can give a lot of uh, new techniques and ideas. Um, let me see if I have, while well, I'm doing this, hold on, I'm looking to see if I can show you how the yapo paper looks like. So let me just, while I'm air, this is air drying, just one second, I'll show you. Um, so this is, this is how yapo paper it comes in a block. The one I bought is in a block and the, uh, let me just go up. This is the, I put a link on my other video as well so you can see. Um, and it's really cool. It's like almost like a plastic kind of paper. You can like, you can still bend it of course. But what I like about it, it comes in translucent or in white. So it creates really cool effects and you can do many different things with it. So that's the nice thing about that. And I wish I had, I don't know where I put my project. Should be here somewhere. But I just don't know. Okay. Yeah, so I really like the idea of, you know, using things that are cheap. Although I use a lot of, like, I guess everything is expensive and I've accumulated over the years. But yeah, somebody's saying, oh, how cool that you use the glue gun. And I'm thinking, yeah, that's exactly like something that is cheap and affordable and everybody can use. So um, let me also turn the, the fan here. I have a fan in my room and that actually helps things to dry up. Okay. So um, there we go. Okay, so let me cool things off a little bit. It is going to be too hard for me to add the waxes, so I'm going to bring them along. So um, this is the wax I used. Actually, I used these, these different ones. 
Um, no, I think I put only a very little bit of this turquoise one. So this is the Opal Magic turquoise. But the main ones that I use was the Vintage Gold, which is absolutely my favorite out of all because everything is looks good in gold. Um, and it also is really, uh, it just looks good in every single project that I've put it on. It's my first one that I go to and look how beautiful it is. So that's one of my ama amazing new uh products which i love and this one is called there's two different like kind of silvery colors this one is called brushed iron it's uh, also a metallic wax by prima marketing finna bear art alchemy and this one is the silver one which is the one i put um oops that's not look how nice this one is oh it's, they're so creamy and they smell so good uh, they smell really really good you know how wax sometimes smells really bad especially the ones that you used to kind of create the, the the vintage texture on furniture and stuff like that so this looks really really good uh, and it's really nicely um it's like the consistency is really good so these waxes are best for um surfaces that are primed or metal like you can like you can put it on paper but it won't give you the same effect the best is wood metal like anything that you're trying to make antique even plastic best is obviously to prime some of the if it doesn't go on the specific um, material for whatever reason then it could be that you need to prime it um hi ava and I, I see i'm just trying to see who else is here so you know what it's still like a little bit wet on the outside which is unfortunate because i'm still i'm trying to rush and uh it's not working the the, the actual um butterfly is dry now again so i'm gonna just maybe play a little bit around so i love using my finger with these they're very soft and they go on really really easily okay so I didn't want this the see-through color and I'm gonna oh let me get closer so you can really see what I'm doing okay so there is the closeness of it okay so I'll try I really want to show you how cool this is so you see how oops let me just you see how this is see-through here and when I add the silver let me bring it over closer or here where it's dirty it covers it all it covers the hole and makes it all silver. Brushed iron, it looks like brushed iron. Same thing here, I want to add a little bit of, I mean, this is already silver, but I want to add a little bit more silver onto it. So I'm kind of covering basically any mistakes that even, let's say the alcohol ink went underneath the, went underneath the butterfly because the, it just spread inside. This covers it all. So you see, like it actually defines my butterfly. So here it is. And yeah, so Yasmin is putting the links to some of the things um, obviously, if you're in Europe, then Mixed Media Place would be the place that you can buy these. Uh, here, I've seen them. They're in Photobella, Simon Says Stamp. Um, I haven't seen them on Amazon yet or on scrapbook.com. Somehow, I don't know why scrapbook.com doesn't have them yet, but I haven't seen them because I've been trying to find links of where to put them. Uh, so, hold on. I want to bend this a little bit without ruining it am i in this frame okay sorry because i want now you could also use with these a uh, stipple brush looks really good on like this um so look how cool look how it defined the butterfly on the outside okay there we go so that i love because it did that to the butterfly okay and Okay, there we go. Let me wipe my finger. Now make sure also that you seal these waxes really well so they don't dry up. So they kind of like seal like by by closing this way. Oops. And now some now, oh, now it's better. Now it's a little bit dry. Not this side somehow. I don't know why. And but I will 
use this one. So this I love. This is, oh, sorry, this one I love. It's my favorite. So that's the one I'm going to say. So actually, before I do that, I'm going to add a little bit of the Opal Magic because I think it needs, so these ones come like they're basically white and they react differently when you put them on, on different colors. But this one is kind of, gives it like a little bit of the blue tinge that I want underneath. And then I'm gonna put the gold. So this is what I did, I just added a little bit on, but it gives it that kind of bluish patina kind of tone. And it's hard to see in the video, but it does. And then it's just, I put very little bit in. And then, oh yeah, actually you can see in the video really well. I thought you couldn't, but you can. Um, so now I'm gonna put the gold. And this really did it for me there. It really defined all the texture on top, which was really nice. I really wanted to define the texture, like the ridges of, of that dried up. Now the gel is still dried underneath, but at least the surface is kind of uh, dry. I'm also gonna do this around the edges because I don't want any white edges. I realized I didn't do this on the other one. I don't know why, I must have been not paid attention to that. So here you can see, you see the, the gold around it? Okay, I will try to show, it's hard. Oh, there, now I got a good good view there. So what it does is that it gives, like I, I'm only touching the surface very carefully. So I could, so because I only wanna get the top of the ridges. I do not wanna get the alcohol ink. That's part I want to stay dark. So you can see the depth, but also you can see those really cool, um, oh, look what happened. You see, it's still wet. Um, you can see the cool effect of the alcohol ink. Okay, so you can see this area is not wet, it's not dry, and I need to fix it. So all I do is I can, let's say you wanna fix this area because it's still wet. Obviously this is a live show, so that's why. But, uh, so you just go like this, and there it fixed it, and I feel like here it needs some fixing in here because I must have moved things around so yes it's not fully dry of course but it's fixable so that's why I like what I like about some of people like and I encourage this like I, I made a whole video about about how to create videos and one of the things I suggested for people that are making videos is that you should show if you're making any mistakes because people appreciate that if you make a mistake and you show them how to fix the mistake, then they'll know how to do that if that ever happens to them. So it's a very important thing to do, and that is to show that, you know, you're first of all, you're human, you make mistakes, and that's okay. And at the same time, you, you, you have some expertise in, let's say, that specific technique that you're doing, because you've already gone through it, you know, you're you're not the full expert, but you have already gone through and you figured out how to fix that mistake. So I think it's really important to to show that your viewers that 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 you're making mistakes and that you can are able to fix them. So that's the nice thing about it. Um, another thing about these waxes, which is a really cool feature, is that you don't have to heat set them once they're on. They're permanent, so so it's hard to also remove them. But if you, you do it right away, you can usually remove most of it. But the nice thing about it, and let me just dry this up a little bit so I can, um, so I can finish this whole area. So here, for example, the gold mixes with the silver. So I want to fix that part. Um, so yeah, so that's just my own bubble talking. I want to put a little bit of maybe gold on this butterfly. I think it will look nicer. And look how nice it goes. I'll show you from closer. Um, how nice it goes on it. Hold on. So I'm just trying to dry those areas that I... Ouch! Hot! That I, um, that I fixed. So here I put a little bit of a golden tinge on the butterfly. So that's really nice and I'm not sure this weird bubble here that formed I'm going to add some gold to that. 
weird bubble that that that's that's not a bubble it's actually part of the of the um, how do you call this the the oh i forgot the word now the glue gun it's glue from the glue gun it's just that's the way i created it so and you, if let's say that you didn't like it because you see how this line is really thin i could easily go back with the glue gun let it dry here's my glue gun which is to let it dry and create like the, a thicker line there to kind of counteract what happened so let's see if i can fix it because i don't like that big i'm making bigger bubbles now but so again like this is what i mean by you can go back and let's say you don't like how something turned out you can always fix it especially with a glue gun glue gun is really easy to fix so you see i added some more see-through parts here so i want to um so I want to uh, just let it dry and then I'll show you. And let's say you wanted to add more color, more, you know, that can make the butterfly. You could have, I could have made this a different color. Um, I could have made this the center, like, I don't know, red, green, whichever one, right? There's no really rhyme and reason why I did certain things. Um, I just like the combination of blue with these, with these earthy tones. It looks really good. Still a little bit wet. I'm worried to go over this. Uh, this side is okay. Just have to be careful. And where else? Here. Okay, that one is too wet. And let me go back with the silver. What did I do with it? Here it is. Because I got some gold there as well. So this, I made a mistake and put some gold. And here, still wet, where I, I just added the glue gun. So I'm waiting a few more minutes until that's done. And there, you see, now I fixed it so it doesn't look so bubbly right there. I'm just trying to be careful not to burn myself. So you could really, I really like the technique of the glue gun with the, with the waxes on top. It looks so pretty. And I wanna show you from, so there, I just fixed that part and well that one, i always always think it's gonna oh no it's almost three o'clock okay good so i like i did it did it take enough time i always think that it's going to take less time than it does um oh there we go okay look how nice that is okay so there is the gold and the the gold the sorry this so they're brushed iron on top of this and a little bit of the golden tinge on the on the silver butterfly and all this texture which i'm really trying to show you so this is when it's still a little bit wet the gel and then i'll show you the other one which is dry so when it dries it also settles a little bit so here is the other one that i made the original and you can see all the really cool cracks with the alcohol ink in between so yeah so i'm a big texture kind of girl you know me, I love texture, so that's why crackle texture was really cool. So um, I really like that. I really like creating things that have the texture. So, so that's it for today. I I can see you can see here the two different ones. I think this one has a little bit more of the wax, and I might go back on this one. You see how this one is? It's hard to tell, but if I go, you go sideways, and let me try for this one is puffier still. I don't know. No, you can't really see it. Yeah, maybe, yeah, you can see that it's a little bit more puffy. And that's because the gel hasn't settled and hasn't dried. Once it dried, it kind of the air bubbles come out of it and it becomes uh, easier to, and it becomes flatter, okay? And then I could go back and, oh, I just did, I just put silver there where I wasn't supposed to. So you see, you can remove a little bit, but I can go with the, with the gold with the vintage gold which is as i said my favorite so i did uh, definitely add more vintage gold on this um so i could i can go back in and um and dry it and that will help uh, so i mean i can go back in with the waxes after it's dry and add some more um add some more so that is it for today. Um, I don't know, I'm excited. And you know what it reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of uh, mosaic. Uh, no, what is it called, a window art? Uh, oh, somebody help me. Um, uh, you know, the things that you put on the window? 
Uh, okay, I just now I'm forgetting, but somebody will mention it soon. So, um, it, like it, it's not translucent like the window ones, but it just reminds me of that, especially like once it dry, it's those. Um, Oh, wow, I'd say uh, completely blind. Oh, stained glass. Thank you. Somebody just went. This looks to me like stained glass. This is my idea was to use the translucent. And this is why the Yapo paper and all these things or using like this also looks like like the one that I used here. It also looks like stained glass. So so yeah, so I really like the the idea of it looking like a stained glass. So I really encourage you. Let me just turn around so I can just want to say the la one last thing. Okay. So I really encourage you to go to the Facebook page, our Facebook page, subscribe if you haven't yet. I'm sure most people here that are doing the live show subscribe. But if you are just watching this after, please subscribe to our Artist Live Facebook page. And also this month we're doing, as I said, our mixed media moods. And we'll, I'll put all the links below so you can see um, uh, what, which one, where we're doing it, like where it is. And there's a lot of inspirational videos. And um, in the next few weeks, uh, the next week is Heather and she'll be doing also something related to the, uh, inspired by our mixed media moods. And after that, it's Didi and then Yasmin. So we're all trying to uh, ins not only inspire, but like, you know, teach techniques and and also, please, if you don't follow my YouTube channel, please follow it. It's really important to, for me, this is where my livelihood is and my, my job. So the more I, the more video, if you want more videos, then, then subscribe to our Artist Live YouTube channel, subscribe to our, to my YouTube channel and all these girls that are, do an amazing job every single day. We bring videos and it takes a long time for us to do these videos, but it's really important for us to get, gain the subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed to one of us, please, please subscribe. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming today to Artist Live and we'll see you next week. Bye. Now I just have, oops, to stop.